Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I'm Skye and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. So as I mentioned in my last video, I'm not quite ready to actually start decorating for the fall season because it is so hot here in Charlotte. August is probably our hottest month of the year. And so I just cannot even think about bringing the pumpkins out right now. Although I'm dreaming about the cooler weather and all that is to come with it, I'm just not quite there. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks, things will start to cool down a little bit and I'll start decorating. Until then, I thought I'd share a video with you all uh, just kind of sharing the process of how I plan and prepare for the coming of a new season, specifically when it comes to homemaking and decorating and just kind of preparing my home for the season. So for fall, um, and what I really do for pretty much any upcoming season is I take an inventory of what I already have and go through my storage bins and just see what I'm working with. Now, my husband loves this about me, but just about every new year, I like to um, switch things up a little bit. I tend to stick to the basics as far as maybe my color scheme or um, just the overall feel of the season. However, my style evolves. And I think that if you are watching this video, you can probably agree with that, that over time your style evolves and sometimes you decide to part with some of your decor and um, maybe sell it at a garage sale or on Facebook Marketplace or gift it to a friend um, and then go shopping and find some new things. Now, I will be completely honest with you. There have been years where I have pretty much just said I want to start completely over and that is not only stressful but super expensive to do so I am not doing that this year I actually really love some of the pieces that I collected last year specifically from uh, the depot at Gibson Mill which is our huge antique um, store I guess mall you could say um, that we have here locally and I will bring you guys along on another trip there pretty soon. I learned last year that they wait until about September to start bringing in the fall things. So I'm going to hold off as best as I can for a couple more weeks. But all of that to say, I wanted to kind of just share the process that I um, go through and take before starting to get all of that decor out and decorate. So one big thing that I do is I get some inspiration from people who either have already decorated this year, which not too many have because it is pretty early, um, go on Pinterest, find things on Instagram, um, just different inspiration from people out there that have similar taste to myself. And I love doing this because it does stretch me a little bit out of my comfort zone and I end up decorating um, with pieces that maybe I never would have even thought of. So this is one of my favorite things to do. The Magnolia Fall Edition is out. This just got delivered to my house last week and I was flipping through here and of course dog-eared a bunch of pages. And when I'm like searching for inspiration, it's not necessarily like pieces that are for sale and that I can purchase. It's more like the mood and um, the colors and the setting. So while I may not replicate like this specific look, it just gives me inspiration for moving forward and um, different things that I might be looking for. So. I loved this page here and just how moody it is. I love all of the darker tones. I really think about those um, browns and deep greens during the fall season. And I love the vintage look that you also get. It's kind of a cozy cottage. It has some uh, modern flair in here as well. So that was a page that really just caught my eye and I knew that I wanted to come back to. I loved the deep oranges and the rustic feel with the logs and just thought that this one was 
just a great one to come back to as I'm thinking about my color palette this season. Um, so I'm kind of like creating almost like a mental mood board as I'm going through these pages and just seeking inspiration. So there's tons of goodness loaded in this fall edition. If you don't have the subscription, you can um, purchase this at Target and I'm sure other places as well. Um, but I do love just going through that and getting a little bit of inspo. Another place, as I mentioned, that I look is on social media, Pinterest and um, Instagram. There is endless, endless content out there to just give you different ideas if you feel completely lost. So wanted to pop up uh, one of my favorite people to follow ever on Instagram is Suzanne Hendricks. I just love her and she shares mood boards every Monday and this photo that I'm going to pop up right now is a photo that she recently shared and it is of a gorgeous bedroom and I know that it is quite a different look than what we have going in our bedroom right now. Can't say that I'm gonna go all the way out on it. I just loved how the bed was styled. I loved the colors and really just all of it. So I am thinking about bringing more color into our master bedroom this fall and really just cozy texture is what I see when I look at this picture. So I wanted to share that one with y'all as well. Had to take a quick coffee break, but here is a, another photo that I found of um, like a cottage bedroom. I love the beadboard. I think it's time to do something to the walls in our bedroom. So I definitely gather just a little bit of inspiration from that. And then also the darker curtains. You guys, I'm just really feeling this like deep cottage coziness for the fall season. I'm also loving this cozy corner, the brass mixed with all of the textures that you have on the chair and then the different sizes and shapes of the little gallery wall. Um, of course, just add a stack of old books and a coffee mug to any tabletop and it just feels super homey. So this is a space that I am hoping to kind of channel in our living room this year. We have a little corner uh, with the window as well that I have a chair sitting at and I'm hoping to do something like this because I just feel like it just screams cozy up with a book and a cup of tea or coffee and just relax. I really tend to gravitate more towards simple decor instead of just the um, overwhelming like bright oranges and reds and greens and mustards. Um, I can get a little overwhelmed when my house feels cluttered to me. I know that a lot of people love to decorate that way and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I always say I'm a huge believer that you should decorate your home in a way that brings you peace and comfort and joy. And if that is that way, then I am all for it. <laughs> but specifically for me, Chad, our family, and our home, um, we do like to keep things a little bit more on the simple side, um, especially having three young kiddos. Toys are everywhere all the time, and so that type of clutter and just having things always out and around, um, and in addition to a bunch of home decor, kind of just is too much. It's like overstimulation for me. So um, I love the idea of decorating more for the season of fall rather than um, Halloween or anything like more short term and super specific. So I love that this can be out September or maybe end of August, we'll see, who knows, through uh, Thanksgiving and into Christmas. Um, so it's just kind of like transitions into the next season. So this picture right here that I'm sharing is a beautiful, just cozy scene. Again, not overly fall. Uh, however, I love that there's just a little wreath added there on the wall, a basket with a pillow. Um, it just feels super cozy and a vase with some stems. So uh, that is kind of just, again, the look that I am going for this season. 
Okay, here's one more that is kind of in the kitchen area. We have on the side of our cabinet tree in our kitchen, kind of just like a big blank amount of space, I guess you could say, that's just the side of the cabinet. I currently have a little shelf there, but it's just like a cheapo one that I purchased at Target, and I haven't loved it since I put it there. I do love that I'm able to hang things there, and it's a functional space, and also adds some decor and just um, texture and kind of breaks up just the plain side cabinet. Um, but I really love the idea of having a little peg shelf with a um, top to it so that I could put a picture frame. And this one just feels like fall to me. It's again, very simple, but adds those deep kind of moody colors, feels super cottage-like. And so I'm hoping to be able to kind of bring something like this into our kitchen this season. Okay, so that was kind of just a quick snapshot of how I typically just go through and find inspiration. Um, another way, as I mentioned, one, going through um, what I already have, two, looking up photos and magazines and online, and then three, going into stores and seeing what the trends are this season and what's out there. And um, by that point, I've already got an idea of what I already have and what I may be lacking or I'm looking for. So, all of that rambling, I don't usually sit here and just chit chat with y'all like this, um, but with all of that ahead of us, let's go ahead and um, check out some of the pieces that I already have that kind of go along with this theme that I'm excited to bring back out. And then in some upcoming videos, you're gonna get to see me do a little bit more fall shopping. I'm hoping to go to places like Home Goods and Kirkland's. Um, I'd love to sneak into Pottery Barn. And yeah, I'm sure there's more on the list, but it's gonna be fun and I hope you'll tag along for the journey. I have received a lot of questions about where we store seasonal decor and just things that we're not using at the moment. So I had all of the right intentions of organizing this and cleaning it and showing you guys, but it didn't happen. So maybe that will be a future video to come. This is our seasonal storage and I'm honestly shaking I'm so scared because last time I was in here there was a cockroach on the ceiling but we're just gonna say our prayers and hope that doesn't happen this time <laughs> so this room is so nice it is right off of our playroom I actually keep it locked so the kids can't get in here and mess around um, and I have just like all kinds of stuff in here. This is not all of my decor. As I mentioned, this is just seasonal decor. So we have another storage closet that is off of one of our boys' rooms. And that is where I keep just my like neutral decor. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. Okay, friends, at first glance, here is just what I gathered um, that I felt like would kind of go along with my fall vision, and I do have more. I just didn't go through, like, every single bin, but this is just a feel for what I'll be using this year, and it also gives me a really good idea of what I already have and what I may want to look for when I'm out shopping. So we're gonna go through this stuff really quick just because most of it is from last year or years past and it's probably not available at the stores anymore. So this basket is from Target and they sell it in a couple different sizes. I also have the smaller size and that one is in our living room right now. Um, this one is so great for just throwing in some fall stems or you could put some throw blankets in there or even like a fall pillow. So love that. Wanted to bring that one back out. I love this reed wreath. This one is from House and Home. We sold this last year. And at the moment that I'm recording, I believe we have a couple left in stock. However, like maybe one or two. So it may not be available by the time that this video gets put out to all of y'all. This vase is from, I believe, Studio McGee. I did get this one this year, and I had some really pretty wheatgrass stems in there, and I'm thinking that for fall, I'm gonna switch it up. And then these cute little candle holders are like an antique brass. These I did have in our shop in House and Home, and 
they are also sold out. Um, moving on to this cute kitchen canister. This one is from Target last year. I actually have two of them. I just couldn't reach the other one. Um, usually Chad helps me go through all of my decor, but he is at work right now. So um, the other one is taller and a little bit more thin, but they do have lids that come off. Super cute for a tablescape or for serving some food during the fall love this gourd this one is a dried gourd from the depot which is the antique store that i talk about all the time i'm hoping that when i go back i am able to grab a couple more i did see some there this summer and i'm kicking myself for not grabbing them because it's just such a cool fun and unique piece Moving on over here, I have shared this beautiful vase. I actually just got this one at Hobby Lobby. It is not in the fall section, but I really felt like it went with what I was looking for this season and I could use it all year round if I wanted to. Down here is just a cute little broom. This one was from the antique store as well. And then this one over here, I actually snatched from our fall line at House and Home last year. The candle holder over here is a wooden found piece from our shop and I love this one so much. I feel like it will really help tie in those moody tones. It'll look super cute with this gourd. And then last but not least, just from what I pulled out today is this really pretty pillow. This one is also one that we had in our shop last year. Um, it's from a shop called Porter Lane Home, so you could check and see. I think they do have a retail store, and they have some really cute prints on pillows. So that is all that I have for this video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul and gained a little bit of something from watching this one. I am so excited to continue to bring you guys along as we go shopping for all things fall decor in the coming videos. Alrighty friends, I hope you all have a wonderful day.